Good evening. This is CTV News for Wednesday, November 27th. I'm Patricia Vallone. Thank you for joining us. Well, can you believe it? Thanksgiving Day is almost here, and from now until early tomorrow, many travelers will be hitting the road, air, or tracks to get to their loved ones. Last year, more than 800,000 customers opted to use Amtrak to get to their Thanksgiving Day destination. CTV's Katira Jones is in New Carrollton with more on the story. Amtrak officials expect more customers to travel by train to get to their holiday destination. Now, we spoke to quite a few people here at this Amtrak in New Carrollton, and many say they are excited to get to their Thanksgiving Day feast. I'm going to see my godmother. For Shantae and her aunt, taking a train to New Jersey is the best option. I was actually recently in an accident, so I'm not driving long distances right now. So why not get on the train where I'm only going to be on here for like an hour and 20 minutes? Abby will be meeting her daughter at Penn Station in New York City and has a fun weekend ahead. I'm going to New York by myself but coming back with my daughter and she's driving back. So and we're going to be in the city. There's no use having a car in the city. We're going to go to shows and go out to eat and have a good time just my daughter and myself. While the weather won't affect Shantae and Abby's plans, Mother Nature is hitting the West Coast and Midwest hard. Winter storm Ezekiel will bring snow, rain and strong winds. Now officials recommend that travelers download the Amtrak app for up-to-date travel information. Reporting in New Carrollton, Katara Jones, CTV News. And for more information, you can visit Amtrak.com forward slash routes. Well, you can't talk about holiday travel without talking about John, John Townsend of AAA. Tonight, CTV's Byron Scott delves into traffic and Townsend. I start looking at ways to express that. If you live or work in the DMV, it's hard not to know who John Townsend is. This job is one of the most fruitful jobs I've ever had. Especially around the holidays, when folks are ready to hit the roads, and he's ready to have fun with words. And this year, as 1.35 million of us in the D.C. region are heading out of town, Townsend is at it again. And Thanksgiving is the only holiday that has no gal to it. Of the 1.35 million people traveling this holiday season in our area, most are doing so by car. And many of those are driving on I-95, and a lot of those folks are stopping off right here at the Laurel West area. My name is Wanda Sneed, and I'm from South Boston, Virginia, really Scotchburg, Virginia. And we're heading to Avondale, Pennsylvania. To be sure, it's Townsend's job in part to help us get to where we are going safely and with the least amount of stress as possible. Yet it's hard to imagine anyone else having as much fun. You can get easily frustrated and vexed by sitting in all the gridlock that is going to rain down across the Washington metro area. Townsend, who was a speechwriter in the Clinton administration, puts together press releases like no one else. You know, I've been here 15 years, and I don't ever like saying the same thing every year. In writing about Thanksgiving 2019, he speaks of kith and kin. Old Scottish term for friends and relatives. In that same release, he refers to the holiday using the Danish term hagi. It is that warm glow of being with loved ones, being with the family. In his advice to motorists in terms of what to expect during the heavily traveled weekend, he writes, it, heavy traffic, will know no surcease until the Monday afterward. Paul uses that word in the raven. John Barrett Townsend II was born in Huntsville, Alabama. He worked in TV and radio in Huntsville and Baton Rouge. Then after a few years in Lexington, Kentucky, he went to work for then mayor Scotty Baszler, following him to Capitol Hill when Baszler won a congressional seat in 1993. Townsend has long wanted to be a political commentator, but... And let me tell you, they, I probably, with what's going on in Washington now, I, I probably would have been fired. <laughs> now a public relations manager with AAA, he loves the advocacy work he does. As for holiday travelers, hitting the roads with a lot of others is part of the experience. Everything is great until you hit the Gothels Bridge and then it's dead stop. So we're expecting that. We are. So too is talking about it with John Townsend. So what are you doing Thanksgiving? Family and friends. <laughs> Kith and Ken. Kith and Ken. Byron Scott, CTV News. 
Well, Metro riders can get to where they need to go even easier thanks to Apple Maps. You will now be able to see detailed transit schedules, live departure and arrival times, the current location of a Metro train or bus, and transfer points. In other Metro news, tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day, the train system will open at 8 a.m. and close at 11 p.m. and will operate on a Sunday schedule. Buses will also operate on a Sunday schedule as well. Well, if your trash or recycle pickup falls on Turkey Day, the county wants you to know that they will be back out on the street the very next day, Friday the 29th. For those whose collections are picked up Friday, your day will slide to Saturday. For more information on holiday schedule changes, you can call County Click 311 or visit online at PrinceGeorge'sCountyMD.gov. Well, as you watch the Th Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade tomorrow, you may notice a familiar marching band participating. Morgan State University's band, known as the Magnificent Marching Machine, will be leading the parade. It's one of 11 bands selected to participate in the festivities. The university is the first and only HBCU band from Maryland to ever be invited to perform in the parade's 95-year history. It was like a whole lot of work to get here. So, you know, I'm just trying to, like, do it for the whole city, do it for Morgan State. Uh, we're happy to uh, represent HBCUs, do it for the culture, and uh, let other people experience this type of music that we're putting out and spread the energy and love that we have. And the marching band is led by drum major and Heightsville native Justin Fabi King. And the parade kicks off tomorrow at 9 a.m. on NBC.